And now to cap off the show, we're going to review the new film, The Northman, which follows a Viking prince as he seeks revenge for the murder of his father. Now, one of the things that snuck up on me with this movie, that log line that I told you, seems fairly simple. <laughs> and it's weird. It kind of <laughs> starts, it starts out that way, <laughs> but it evolves into something much more complicated from a story point of view, really from an ex- execution point of view overall. This was, in my point of view, a stunning experience. And I think that has to do in large part with, again, the execution of this film. Robert Eggers, um, this is the same guy who did The Wish. This is the same guy who did The Lighthouse. He masterfully, masterfully directs this film. And he, I love how he. one of the things that he does is he expands the scope of the kind of movies that he makes. You know, The Witch and The Lighthouse, I'm sure they were challenging productions. The Lighthouse in particular, I'm sure, was a very, very challenging production. But not like this. Not like this, especially considering it was on a bigger mm-hmm. scale, considering all the studio interference that occurred, too. Like, this is, you know, this is something I'm sure that was very tough to make. But the scope never goes to the wayside. The ambi- You could just see the ambition. You know, the action sequences are absolutely incredible. And... Uh, like I said, bro, job well done to him. Job well done to him. Now, Darius, just out of curiosity, have you seen his other yes. films? Any of his and other definitely films? Definitely Lighthouse. So, and I love both. <laughs> yeah. um, but for me, again, I'm the big proponent that got me interested in this movie was specifically the Viking era and Norse mythology. I love mm-hmm. Norse mythology. Mm-hmm. I love the Viking era. Um, and so I kind of came in with a point of view to be like, how intimate and realistic as far as how they were kind of back then is this going to be? And my God, it blew my socks away. It, this Same. felt, again, and this is, I, I have to harp into what you said about Dune. This is why we go to the theaters. You know, this is why we have mm-hmm. that theater experience. The amount of depth this film had from a story perspective and even visual perspective, again, it felt that every frame, every um, shot intended w- was necessary and, and carried a certain emotional weight to it that I don't think you can really pluck out necessarily. Like, this was carefully edited and carefully directed to meticulously, in my opinion, to the point where I was just like, this is just phenomenal. And I had a fantastic time with this movie. I thought, and again, Norse mythology, I got to get back to it. I love how they portray certain aspects of Odin and how he was the messenger and really that um, idea of destiny and fate and how that can intertwine and how it may not be as uh, black and white as it, sh- as it may be, especially for a story mm. that is so-called simple on the idea of revenge. Again, I could go on clearly, but to me, I thoroughly love yeah. this movie. I thought it was phenomenal, and I thought it was fantastic. You know, touching on one of the things you said as far as, like, you know, the depiction of Vikings, right? Mm-hmm. Um, there were, it was very authentic Mm -hmm. and it was just brutal. Yeah. You know, I'm watching this movie. I'm like, holy shit. Like, you know, the Vikings were fucking animals. Like, oh my God. (laughs) Very much so. (laughs) This is insane. (laughs) Jesus. And it's weird. Like there are certain things that felt weird about like, you know, quote Viking culture. Right. And like, I'm watching this. I'm like, all right, like this feels odd, but at the same time, it always felt believable. You know what I mean? Like I'm watching this. I'm like, all right, this feels weird. I don't get it. I'm just assuming it's, you know, genuine Viking shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Like the Vikings, especially, you know, it's, they had a very, it was a very brutal time and year for them. And I love seeing Mm -hmm. that they, that the directors, they did not hold back in that brutality, and I love how they portray not just, again, certain mythologies when it comes to Odin, but also the Tree of Life, Yggdrasil, and how it was also mm-hmm. meant to be. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. Oh, I mean, no, I'm not going to talk. Um, Let's just say it was just, oh, man, it was just so good. I loved it. I, I don't have yeah. anything in the sound design, love. Um, yes. Yeah, oh from, my God. from a technical point of view, this movie is uh, is terrific. Um, there are there are a couple of like you know 
uh, I don't know if it's CGI or VFX that I'm like, all right, you know, that, you know, distracted me like a tiny bit, but honestly not enough to take away too much from this movie at all. This movie overall is gorgeous to look at. Mm -hmm. Um, It's bloody. It's gruesome. Um, Like I said before, the action sequences, holy shit. There are multiple one-shot sequences. Um, The finale, like the final battle, like what it's building up to. Wow. Like the setup and scale and just of that scene is is phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Like there was one of those things where I was just so invested, like I forgot I was watching a movie, but once it was done, I'm like, holy shit, I just witnessed that. I just witnessed yeah. that and I'm so happy I saw this in the theater. Um but yeah, no, like the it's weird. Like, you know, the cinematography of course is gorgeous, right? Landscapes definitely contributed to the scale of this film. And it was weird. It had a, like a dark and gloomy palette and it contributed to the mood overall. You know, it was very much this feeling of darkness. Um, it contributed to the like the savage nature of the film. And it never just like, you know, was, you know, the pretty pictures weren't on there just to be pretty pictures. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it all felt like it had a purpose and it all actually did something. Exactly. It, it felt everything felt intended and purposeful. I love how they represented um, or at least their attempt at um, having the actors, I guess, speak that ancient Nordic tongue in, in that way because it is very much... Some people may walk out and be like, huh, it reminds me of that Shakespearean, and it very much is so, you know? Yes, and I, I was, was just thinking Beautiful. That. I, I, yeah, I was just... I'm so happy you brought <laughs> that up. I was just thinking that because this felt... This really felt like Hamlet. Mm-hmm. It felt like Hamlet, but in a good way. Um, you know, it had, and uh, even the story itself, not, not just the presentation of the film and how big in its scale it was, like even the story itself, like had a big scale too. Like obviously, you know, you're, he's journeying across like, you know, so many like different lands, like, you know, in the Northern part of the world, this spans across multiple years. And again, starts out like feeling the straightforward revenge story, but it turns into more based on what you were saying with, you know, the themes of like destiny and like, you know, conquering destiny. You know, there's a plot twist Mm -hmm. in this film, too, which is something I didn't expect with this kind of movie. And I don't want to give that away, but that was when that happens, like the movie had already started to build up beforehand. Because, again, when this movie starts going it really gets going yeah. like there's a there's a point where the movie like you know it, it's pacing was a little too slow at times but once it picks up it really picks up and once this twist is thrown at us i'm like holy shit this is something i'm not going to forget for a while yep you know and it really this sort of twist to, revealed so much about the characters um certain characters and just like the sort of conflict that was like added and thrown at, like, the main character, too, I'm like, wow, yep, okay, just, like, this shit is really hitting the fan in more ways yep. than one. And it just also shows just how things, again, and and I think this goes into that idea of revenge, you know, as you said, that it gets complicated later on, and they played it in a way in the beginning where it seems simple, but eventually it gets complicated. And it gets complicated for the viewer, for the main character, it like it's just it's so multi layered and multi dimensional to the point where you know and I think one of our friends who saw it with us brought it up uh, uh, in a great way. There isn't any right and wrong, you know. It's mm-hmm. this just constant battle and again the cycle of revenge and how it. Oof, but yeah, just the cycle of revenge in itself and hatred. And having nothing but that, but then having a glimmer of possible hope. Again, to me, this was a masterful movie. I don't really have a problem with almost anything. I liked how slow it was. I liked how it picked up. I liked how when it picked up, it kept going and it just kept going. Yep. Um, it was just a beautiful experience, you know, and I absolutely love it. Yeah, this is this is absolutely incredible. This is definitely one of the best films I've seen mm-hmm. this year so far. Performances across the board were terrific. Terrific cast, but honestly, you know, it's weird. In a cast with the likes of Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicole Kidman, Oof. Ethan Hawke, and Willem Dafoe, right? Like, you know, they're all great. I wish we saw, we got to see a little bit more of Ethan Hawke and Willem Dafoe, but they were excellent from what we actually got. Mm-hmm. But out of everybody, the guy leading the cast, Alexander Skarsgård, he gives a commanding performance in this film. There's so much that he gives us just from in his facial movements, 
his mm-hmm. the way he carries himself he's very imposing and like i was really intimidated by this guy i'm like this guy's ruthless he's brutal but at the same time there's a lot going on inside like you know there's a yeah. reason why he is the way he is and i got everything that i needed from his performance exactly again simple but effective storytelling done to mm. its most grander scale <laughs> I I don't know if I'd say I don't know if I'd say simple storytelling. No, it's not. Like, it comes it's, off as simple, yeah. but again, like the but like the more we get into it, we're like, holy shit! Like, never mind. This it's it's deceptively complicated. Mm-hmm. It's deceptively complex. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and again, like I said, I didn't expect to get that out of a movie like this. Um, you know, also too, music Oof. terrific. Musical score is absolutely terrific. Again, just you know, added another layer, just ha- hammed up the. Um, the emotion, the tension, you know, er, there. This movie, basically, this movie has a lot going for it. It's a stunning experience overall, but it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Yeah, definitely not, because there are certain images that I'm not going to forget for a while. But you know what? <laughs> I, I don't regret seeing anything. So thank you, Robert Eggers. Thank you. Oh yes, oh yes, absolutely phenomenal. Yep. So. All right, now for everybody, you know, did you get a chance to see The Northman? If you haven't, obviously, we'd recommend it. Let us know exactly what you think in whatever comment section you can. 